summer break. So do you want cheese on that, hon? Sure, bye. A time for leisure, recreation, and taking her easy. Unless you're me. My name is Dipper. The girl about to puke is my sister Mabel. You may be wondering what we're doing in a golf cart, fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. Ah! Look out! Ah! Ah! Rest assured, there's a perfectly logical explanation. It all began when our parents decided we could use some fresh air. They shipped us up north to a sleepy town called Gravity Falls, Oregon to stay at our great uncle's place in the woods. This attic is amazing! Check out all my splinters! And there's a goat on my bed. Hey, friend! Oh! Yes, you can keep chewing on my sweater. <laughs> my sister tended to look on the bright side of things. Yay! But I was having a hard time getting used to our new surroundings. Boom! Ah! Ah! <laughs> and then there was our great uncle Stan. That guy. <laughs> it was worth it. Our uncle had transformed his house into a tourist trap he called the Mystery Shack. The real mystery was why anyone came. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the Sass Crutch. Whoa! Oh my oh my God. God. And guess who had to work there? <sighs> oh. No touching the merchandise! It looked like it was going to be the same boring routine all summer, until one fateful day. He's looking at it! He's looking at it! Uh, do you like me? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. I rigged it. Mabel? I know you're going through your whole boy crazy phase, but I think you're kind of overdoing it with the crazy part. What? <laughs> Come on, Dipper. This is our first summer away from home. It's my big chance to have an epic summer romance. Yeah, but do you need to flirt with every guy you meet? My name is Mabel, but you can call me the girl of your dreams. I'm joking! <laughs> oh my gosh, you like turtles? I like turtles too. What is happening here? Come one, come all, to the Mattress Prince's kingdom of savings. Take me with you. Ah! Mock all you want, brother, but I got a good feeling about this summer. I wouldn't be surprised if the man of my dreams walked through that door right now. Uh, 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 oh, not good. Ow. Oh, why? <laughs> all right, all right, look alive, people. I need someone to go hammer up these signs in the spooky part of the forest. Not it. Not it. Uh, also not it. Nobody asked you, Seuss. I know, and I'm comfortable with that. Um, um, um. Wendy, I need you to put up this sign. I would, but I uh, can't uh, reach it. Uh. I'd fire all of you if I could. All right, let's make it eeny, meeny, miny, you. Oh, what? Grunkle Stan, whenever I'm in those woods, I feel like I'm being watched. Ah, uh, this again. I'm telling you, something weird is going on in this town. Just today, my mosquito bite spelled out beware. That says bewarb. Look, kid, the whole monsters in the forest thing is just local legend, drummed up by guys like me to sell merch to guys like that. <laughs> so quit being so paranoid. <sighs> me and my <laughs> nerdy bro over here have some catching up to do. We're gonna be away for a while. That's why I'm shutting down the Mystery Shack for good. You shut down your mouth for good! I'm sorry, Mr. Pineses. It's just that this shack is the most magical place on Earth. Sure, the attractions are all fake, but dreams aren't fake. 
Like this mermaid. It's not just a dead fish butt sewn to a monkey carcass. It's a marvelous creature that makes us believe that anything is possible. You shut down this shack, and you shut down our dreams. At least, my dreams. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seuss. It's just there's no one around to run it. At least, there wouldn't be if I hadn't just found the perfect replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mystery Shack is under new management. You, you mean it, Mr. Mystery? You're Mr. Mystery now, Seuss. Try not to burn the place down. I'll move in immediately. There's still so much we haven't done together. Summer's over, Candy. It's time for us to grow up. But not too much. Ah! Oh, I hate my dumb heart for making me feel things! Cut it out! Heart! Hey, can you punch my heart too? No, mine! Punch my feelings away! Candy and Grenda, thank you for being my people. You'll always be my best friends. Uncle Stan, thanks for wearing my goodbye sweater. Uh, it's cold out. I had to. What? But it's like 80-something degrees out today. Can it, Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mean a lot to me, man. You too. <clears throat> Something to remember me by. Oh, and this. Read it the next time you miss Gravity Falls. Last bus leaving Gravity Falls. All aboard. Guess we said goodbye to everyone except Waddles. I, I don't know how to explain this, but Mom and Dad won't let me bring a pig home to California, so you have to stay here. Come on, come on. I have to go. I'm, I'm sorry, Waddles. Ah, you know what? Forget it! I lived with this pig all summer. Now your parents are gonna have to. Hey, bus guy! This pig is coming with the kids! Now, hold on a second. Bringing animals aboard a moving vehicle is strictly prohibited by... Well, w welcome aboard. You can sit in the front row, pig. Kids, you knuckleheads were nothing but a nuisance, and I'm glad to be rid of you. We'll miss you too, Uncle Stan. <laughs> Ready to head into the unknown? Nope. Let's do it. If you've ever taken a road trip through the Pacific Northwest, you've probably seen a bumper sticker for a place called Gravity Falls. Well, I've moved in! It's not on any maps, and most people have never heard of it. Some people think it's a myth. But if you're curious, don't wait. Take a trip. Find it. It's out there somewhere in the woods, waiting.